Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some big news coming out from the Russia-Ukraine war to share with you. We've got information from a Ukrainian military spy official that has come out and allegedly reported that Russia has started using cheaply made drones designed to exhaust Ukrainian air defense systems. Okay, so this is very big news. And apparently what the Russians are doing is they are producing very cheaply made drones that cost maybe no more than $10,000. They'll build them out of materials like foam, plastic, and plywood and design them to look very similar to what we'd see here. This is a Iranian Shahid 136 drone. Okay, and they'll build them very similar to these but use very cheap materials. And from the ground, the Ukrainians can't tell whether it's a cheaply made drone or a an actual attack drone that's Iranian or wherever it comes from, right? So the Ukrainians will shoot these things down and then later on find out that this was a very cheaply made drone that maybe didn't even have an explosive on it. Maybe it had a small explosive, but it wasn't even designed to be an attack drone. And apparently what the Russians are doing as well is they are also putting cameras on these things and using them to identify air defense locations from the Ukrainians and also film damage. And many times these are just decoys. Okay, so here's a picture that I found on X. This was a drone that was found in Ukraine a while back. I don't know, it, might, it could have been like a year ago. It's an older picture, but uh, this is an example of how cheap some of these drones can be produced. And they'll use these to confuse Ukrainian air defense teams to shoot them down and spend a very expensive uh, uh, missile exhausted from a, a Ukrainian air defense system, like a Patriot missile, for example, and this will be used to shoot down a drone that costs $10,000. So this is going to be a big problem for the Ukrainians. Uh, they're going to be exhausting air defense missiles like crazy, shooting down drones that uh, that are worth nothing, basically, okay, compared to uh, an actual attack drone. So I've got this report I want to go over here today. This is a very interesting story. So this is on Reuters, and it's exclusive. Russia deploys cheap drones to locate Ukraine's air defenses. Okay, this came out July 26, 2024, yesterday. And it says Russia has begun including new cheaply made drones in its long-range attacks on Ukraine to try to identify air defenses, film any damage, and act as decoys, a Ukrainian military spy official said. The two new types of drone, which Russia has used in five drone attacks in the last two to three weeks, including an overnight strike on Thursday, are produced from materials like foam, plastic, and plywood. So this would include that attack that we had. Uh, we just reported a couple days ago a Russian drone landed in Romanian territory and blew up. Uh, so this is probably from that attack because that was around that time where that happened. I did a whole video on this and talked about this. Even the Romanians started shooting down Russian drones flying over Ukrainian territory, which is pretty insane. One type carries a camera and a Ukrainian mobile phone SIM card to send images back to the Russian military. They identify where our mobile groups are positioned, where the machine guns are that can destroy them. They're trying to get a picture of where all our air defenses are located, said Andrei Cherniak, a military spy agency spokesperson. The, the previously unreported details from Cherniak are further evidence of Russia seeking to adapt its tactics and try new technology to gain an edge during its daily missile and drone strikes on Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. So yeah, definitely this is going to be designed to confuse Ukrainian air defense teams uh, you know, on what they're looking at and when they see the sky, when they see these drones flying through the sky. Is this an attack drone? Is this a reconnaissance drone? And at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what type of a drone it is because it's most likely going to be a threat to their country, okay? So they have no choice in a way but to shoot it down. And this is where the problem is, is that many of these air defense missiles are very, very expensive. So it's gonna require an expensive missile to shoot down a very cheaply made drone that may not even have anything attached to it. It could just be a complete decoy that has nothing on it, okay? So Iranian designed Shahid attack drones, which fly to their target and detonate on impact have become a staple of Russian aerial attacks since they began being used in the first year of Russia's full-scale invasion launched in February 2022. Ukraine has been appealing to the West to provide more air defenses to repel increased Russian airstrikes on its power facilities since March, tries hard to conceal the locations of its air defense systems. The new Russian drones with cameras 
do not carry explosives, but closely resemble regular Shahid drones and fly with groups of them, Cherniak said. The second new type of drone contains no explosive charge, or only a small one, and it is being used as a decoy. So you see what I mean? What if they don't have any char explosive charge on them? What if they're not actually even an attack drone? It could just be a drone that appears to look like an attack drone, but it's really not. And then they shoot this thing down with a very expensive missile, um, considering that if these things are flying very high, maybe they'll be out of range of, of smaller small arms fire that can't take it down. And then a uh, big issue for the Ukrainians. So it says... Because it is virtually indistinguishable from a regular attack drone from the ground, it still needs to be shot down, revealing where Ukrainian air defense systems are located. So that's a big one, too. Imagine they fly some decoys along with some uh, some of these cheaply made drones that have a camera attached to them. And then whenever they fly over these, these areas, maybe the air defense systems start going off and then they can reveal where they're located at. Then that's when the Russians can try to strike these later on, at, you know, maybe even within a couple hours later or something. So what this is going to do now is going to force Ukraine to have to continuously keep moving their equipment. OK, they're going to have to keep moving their air defenses. They can't keep them in one place for too long is is what at least what I would understand, because if it does and it gets exposed, then that's when the Russians could strike it and take it out. So this is very, very big, very smart for the Russians to do this. He said the new drones probably cost as little as 10000 each, despite their long range, making them far cheaper to produce than air defense missiles. The drones can also fly at an altitude of 1,000 meters or 3,000 feet, putting them out of range of machine guns and automatic rifles, he said. Okay, so like I said, very, very big deal here, and this is going to be difficult for the Ukrainians to deal with this mess and uh, obviously, if they're so cheap, if they're only 10,000, okay, it'll be very, very easy for Russia to mass produce a lot of these. And if many of these happen to be decoys or whether it's an attack drone, doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it's requiring a very expensive missile to shoot down a cheap drone. So it looks like uh, the Russians are going to be mass producing these like crazy and using them to confuse uh, air, Ukrainian air defense teams and also expose their positions um, so this is going to be a very big development. I'm sure we're going to be hearing more about this in the future. I will cover this story very closely. And if we get some more updates later um, on this, you know, making it difficult for the Ukrainians or whatever it might be, I will definitely do another update for you. But yeah, I just wanted to share this information. So just to recap here real quick, Russia is going to be start using, starting to use cheaply made drones to exhaust Ukraine's air defenses, use them as decoys, use them to expose Ukrainian air defense locations. So big problem for Ukraine. We'll have to see how this goes. That's going to be it for this update. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.